you shouldn't use UberX, in my opinion, uh, because it's uh, unsafe for uh, a variety of reasons. First, the drivers are not professional drivers. They are not trained. They have not been vetted. They have not had background checks. They're not registered with any state or local governmental agency. Uh, these are individuals uh, who are using their personal vehicles to provide a livery service, and they're doing it through uh, these uh, advanced technology companies, app companies, where you have an app on your uh, smartphone, and you reach out to them uh, for a ride. It's much like this group Lyft. The problem uh, is, uh, aside from those things that I just mentioned in terms of no vetting, no registration, we don't know who they are, uh, is also their personal insurance, vehicle insurance, does not apply to that activity. In other words, in all of our personal auto insurance policies, if you have one, there's an exclusion, and the exclusion is uh, uh, for providing a livery service. It cancels your coverage. That's a standard exclusion in virtually every uh, auto insurance policy uh, that I know of. Um, and across the country, the insurance industry has come out uh, and, and stated that. Uh, so it's really not uh, uh, you know, new, uh, but it's new to uh, people who are using UberX because they're trying to save a few bucks uh, guys are trying to make a few bucks, uh, but the fact is that it's unsafe so that if you get in an Uber X car, that car is involved in an accident caused by the negligence of the Uber X driver, uh, you're, you have no insurance coverage. Uh, and you might have uh, a, uh, your own auto policy and your own uninsured motorist might apply, but it might not. There might be a skirmish about that, but the whole appeal of this UberX and Lyft phenomenon is that uh, urban dwellers, largely, uh, can use this, and many of these people don't own cars, and, and they don't want to own a car. Uh, they use uh, public transportation and taxi cabs and limo services, uh, and those are costly. So, uh, but because those people don't have their own personal motor vehicles, they're not going to have personal uninsured motorist coverage. So this is a real problem uh, in America today uh, and across the country, uh, cities like Houston, Seattle, San Francisco, Miami, Orlando, uh, they're uh, having uh, hearings uh, and there's going to be regulation of this UberX phenomenon and the same is likely true soon here in Chicago.